Hello again, folks. Uh, today we are going to be checking out something a little, a little obscure, I think. Um, what we're looking at is a former rail bed. Uh, up here is an active rail bed. This is the former Dolphin and Susquehanna Railroad, which later became the Schuylkill and Susquehanna, and then the Schuylkill and Susquehanna branch of the Redding. So this is a uh, feeder stream down here that's going to run into the Schuylkill. We're going to head down there in a second. Rail bed. Okay, so up here is uh, Philadelphia and Redding trackage, then Redding, then Conrail, now uh, Redding and Northern. That's their Schuylkill division or Schuylkill branch. Uh, it runs up to Pottstown, Pottsville, sorry, Pottsville. Um, so this bed that we're on now, chartered as the Dolphin and Susquehanna, and it was built, uh, they started it out here in Auburn, it's where we are, Auburn, Pennsylvania, Schuylkill County, and it ran 51 miles down through Pine Grove and then out to uh, Rockville, Pennsylvania, which is out along the Schuylkill River, or Susquehanna River, my apologies. Um, it didn't last long from what I read as the the Dolphin in Susquehanna, it was reorganized as the Schuylkill in Susquehanna, and then eventually fell into Redding Company hands as the Schuylkill in Susquehanna branch. Um, what I find interesting is if it was built in the 1850s, it was, I would assume, in competition with the Philadelphia and Redding. Maybe they were working together. I'm really not sure that what was going on at that point. But it's an old bed, um, you know, as opposed to say the the Schuylkill and Lehigh branch, the the Berksy, that was built in the eight, uh, 1870s. So that was a good 20 years after this bed that we're walking on was built. We're coming up on the Schuylkill now. And they've got an interesting feature here. It's pretty much identical to um, a bridge they call the Chutes, which is down a little bit further south. This structure is, is pretty much identical, but it's about a half a mile north uh, up, the, up the Schuylkill. just fascinating to know that the town of Auburn, if you're familiar with the town of Auburn, it's a small town, but at one point it had many railroads going through it. Look at this old marker here, 1936. Property of U.S. Engineering Office, Philadelphia, PA. That's pretty neat. And here we're coming up on where there would have been a bridge. And there's the, that's the Philadelphia and Redding, now Redding and Northern. And it looks just like a structure called the chutes down the road that maybe some of you are familiar with. But as you can see, this is all coal dirt here. What he used for the fill. And we're gonna come down and take a look at what's remaining of a bridge abutment where the Schuylkill and Susquehanna would have gone over the Schuylkill River right here. You can see stone remaining. It's pretty neat. And down here some stones that have washed away. See, there's some erosion here and from the Schuylkill. And down here, some more rocks from what would have been the bridge would have crossed over the river here to the other side. I haven't gone to the other side to see what's going on over there yet. But I thought this was an interesting little start to kind of an obscure line. 
So I'm gonna head down the road a little bit and see what else we can find. I'll see you guys in the next one.